Hi everyone, I'm Katie and I'd like to give you some quick guidelines for good online practice. Now that more and more of your university education is happening online, it's important to think about how you present yourself and interact with others using our e-learning platform. Here's a few basic things to keep in mind when writing something in your subject Moodle site, such as a forum post or message. First off, avoid using all caps as it's generally associated with shouting offline and can be seen as quite rude. It's also helpful to use subject titles to help your classmates find the appropriate threads. Emoticons can also help your reader figure out your tone. In regular conversation offline, it's easy for your listeners to follow when the topic changes. Online, however, it can be a little bit more difficult, so it's helpful to create new threads in the discussion forums once the topic has changed. Another important thing to remember is to take a quick look over your comments before you post them. This will help you catch any typos or statements that might be misunderstood by your readers. People in online classes have a lot to read and are often reading on very small screens. Shorter paragraphs and the use of formatting like bold and subheadings can really help. Now more generally speaking, here are a few issues that you need to think about when using the new e-learning platform. The first is to think about your audience before you post. Your lecturers and tutors are likely to see what you post and support staff may also have access to your Moodle site. It's important to remember also that the staff and students of UOW come from diverse backgrounds, so be clear in your language and respectful in the way that you communicate. This applies especially if you are posting something in anger. Try not to respond right away, but leave it for a day or two before you respond. Also, keep privacy in mind. This applies not only to you, but also to your classmates. Remember that everything that you post may be accessible and could potentially become public, as it's easy to copy and paste in the online world. This is particularly important if you're using our ePortfolio system, Mahara. This should be your professional persona as a student and for your future career. Message someone privately if you are discussing something personal as well. You'd be surprised how often personal messages end up in the class-wide discussion forum. A good rule of thumb, don't say anything online that you wouldn't say in a face-to-face -face classroom. It's much easier to find and use sources on the web, so it's extra important for you to reference properly. Acknowledge the authors of the things that you use, including photos. Depending on your subject, you may be expected to cite everything using your school's citation style, but in general, a good practice is to link to the things that you use on the web so that other people can find them. If you are in a subject that's using online participation in forums, your contribution makes a real difference to other people's success. So here's a few guidelines on being a good classmate. First off, participate regularly in the forum discussions. Also, let other people know that you're reading their posts by commenting or asking follow-up questions. This is very easy in Moodle because you can receive email updates when people respond to you, and you can reply to the forum by just replying to the email without having to log back into Moodle. If someone's ideas were helpful to you, let them know. It's also a good idea to acknowledge the alternative perspective before you challenge or differ. Finally, a good classmate treats everyone respectfully. Good luck in your subjects and have a great time using Moodle. Thank you for watching.